Tyrannosaurus Rex. The very name means Tyrant Lizard King. But was this tyrant merely a bumbling giant or a calculating killer? By getting inside the head of a T-Rex, we can find out the answer. An X-ray of an ancient fossilized brain case shows what a T-Rex's brain could have actually looked like. The scan reveals that areas of the brain associated with smell, the olfactory bulbs, were huge in proportion to the rest of T-Rex's brain. Comparing his wits to a distant relative, the alligator, the part of T-Rex's brain devoted solely to smell dwarfed that of his cousin. And if you think of alligators who are able to smell their food easily, the T-Rex could have possibly had a sense of smell more like a bloodhound who can track its prey over a hundred miles away. Scientists also believe that T-Rex had killer eyesight with enormous eye sockets the size of softballs and a narrow snout. T-Rex had an unobstructed line of sight it's also thought that he could have had a type of stereoscopic vision similar to humans and predatory birds. Stereoscopic vision allows us to see depth, which could enable a predator like the T-Rex to see through camouflage on its prey. And finally, if you look inside T-Rex's skull, there are a series of large air chambers that connect to the middle eardrum. This network increased his sensitivity to low-frequency infrasonic waves, sound that's lower than the normal limit of human hearing. Larger animals, like elephants, produce infrasound waves that can travel over a hundred miles through ground and are sensed by other herds. This infrasonic hearing ability could have allowed T-Rex to detect vibrations made by other dinosaurs making it possible for him to echolocate his next meal. Tyrannosaurus rex was truly a triple threat, with killer sight, smell, and hearing. Not a seven-ton moron, but more likely a cunning and calculating bloodhound of the Cretaceous period. <laughs>